So, good morning. So, who are you and what are you doing? Hi, thanks. Uh, good morning. It's, uh, my name is Arjen van der Zee. Um, I'm from Utrecht Inc. We have a startup called Pick This Up. And Pick This Up is the carpool platform for uh, delivering packages. Okay, cool. So another great initiative in the, in the, in the, in the mobility and transportation industry. Uh, that's what we hope, yeah. We hope a lot of people think like that. Um, we saw the success of BlaBlaCar and, and we saw like, okay, why instead of people not do packages? Um, basically the same, uh, same service, but uh, a less blah blah. <coughs> And are you already testing it with, uh, with real users? Yes, fortunately, yes, uh, luckily. Um, when we started the concept, we were afraid that people might uh, be scared of, of, of actually delivering it. And it turns out that the people who want to deliver, they are um, very enthusiastic. So it's easier to get them than we expected, let's say, like that. Okay, so, 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 so it's, it's easier to get people to, uh, to deliver. So, so uh, uh, what is their feedback? Uh, from the first uh, first uh, test rounds? Um, well, it's very diverse, uh, but let's start for one thing. Um, you have less communication. Um, that's also a benefit as well as a downside. Uh, for instance, when you, you carpool with a person, you have a lot of communication between those two to, to meet up somewhere. Uh, for us, it's, it's very easy because you have an address that is kind of solid address. You have to go there and you have to pick it up actually at home or, or at a shop. Um, so that saves some communication. On the other hand, it also limits your flexibility. Uh, think about opening times of shops or uh, on the other side, a large bulky things that, that, that need to be carried into the car. Um, well, like I say, it's very diverse what we get as feedback. Okay, and, 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 and from the demand side, so people who are offering that package, um, how did you arrange that? So how, how did you find people that wanted to, to have their packages delivered? Because I, I think it's, 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 it's uh, uh, quite easy to find people who want to drive, but how did you find people uh, that wanted to, to uh, deliver the package by your service? Yeah, that, that was a bigger challenge than we originally thought. We, we, would, we, think, we would think it was the other way around, um, but in this case, uh, it was more difficult to find it, actually the package requests. And at the moment, we're targeting on people uh, using Marktplatz or Tweedehans or uh, second-hand websites, sales websites, uh, or auction sites as well. And then you get back to the, the, the actual problem, is there is there is no delivery option or it's a very expensive one. Either it's a big truck that delivers it uh, or you have to pick it up by yourself. And that's kind of the, the segment that we're gonna push, kind of pushed in, and it's it's kind of promising because it's it's a lot bigger than we expected. Okay, so so now you're really focusing on on delivering uh, things that are not really or, or that are really expensive to transport uh, by the normal uh, transportation organizations. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's it's kind of in between. So we're not actually uh, pushing somebody away in in the market at the moment. We're we're kind of creating an, a new uh, customer market. And if you look at the sales of, uh, for instance, Marktplatz, it's, um, well, it's huge, <laughs> especially the second hand. And if you look at certain categories like uh, child and uh, baby stuff, um, it's, it's, it's a lot of uh, extra traffic that comes every day. I mean, we were talking about thousands of thousands of, of packages uh, daily basis. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so that's uh, that's really a, a, a really a, a huge market. And you're talking about we. So who? Uh, uh, who are we? So, uh, uh, because you started with the idea, but how did you brought your idea to life? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> that always sounds very easy, but it was, uh, of course, it wasn't. Um, I worked for five years in, in procurement uh, and uh, logistics uh, as a consultant. And I had this idea a, a long time ago when I, I was driving a lot because I lived up north in the country and I, I went from uh, office to office to customers and I drove pretty much the whole country up and down. And the people of the reception, they knew about it. Some, some ladies knew about it. So every once in a while, they asked me to, uh, if I could take something with me to another office or to a client and think about uh, a printer or a laptop to the IT department somewhere else. Um, well, that was kind of like where the idea started. Uh, and it took me some years to actually, well, how do you say, uh, be brave enough to take the step, and that was at the end of last year. I, I quit my job and, and started to recruit uh, fellow team members because I have no IT skills myself. 
So I, I definitely needed uh, uh, two uh, a front end and a back end, of course, in, in the team. Um, well, we managed that in February, and we started at the incubator of uh, Utrecht Inc. And since then, it went pretty fast already, uh, finishing up the incubator in July and, and uh, also launching the prototype, which is running right now and in preparing of our uh, full launch in October. Okay, and, 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 and uh, what is the added value of such an incubator for you as a startup? Well, for one thing, neither one of us had any entrepreneurial experiences. Um, so they get you up, up to speed. Like, I mean, before the incubator, I think we went like 200 or 300% faster. Um, just because of the knowledge and because of the easy connections that are, are in the building. Uh, so it's network, it's a lot of uh, classes, what, which helps in financial, um, in accounting, uh, marketing. Um, all stuff, some stuff you already know, but I mean, come on, it has been a while since you went out of uh, uh, college, so it's good to refresh up again. Um, and on the other hand, it's, it's easy to get in contact with people. I mean, it's uh, being part of a, uh, a community, as, it, as they call it, uh, it really makes it a lot more fun as well. It's a little bit of a, a chaka uh, uh, environment, but I mean, I like it. I like it. Okay, okay, cool. And, 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 and so you're now driving a lot between uh, where you live in Zwolle and in Utrecht. So are you, uh, are you also into the test group and, all, and are you also delivering some packages yourself? Of course, I, I was the, the second one who... Uh, <laughs> the second yeah, one, the second on. one. I, I mean, I, I wasn't that fast. Somebody was faster than me. Uh, uh, we launched the website and the same day somebody uh, already signed in. So I, he was faster than me, but I was the second one who was in the pilot group, yeah. Okay, and, and, and now uh, the pilot, uh, is it a closed pilot? It's a, um, no, it's an open pilot. Okay, so everybody can join. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. And, and, and uh, when, will you be, when will be your next moment when you're going to look, okay, uh, what is happening and, and, and how can we make the next steps? Well, it's uh, October, especially in the beginning of October, because we want to launch at, at the end. Um, it's going to be the final wrap up to, to, um, to prepare the, the launch. Okay, and I think that the, uh, the system will work really good. Uh, I think the same uh, like with, uh, with BlaBlaCar, when the threshold for people is as low as possible to, to, uh, to join. Yeah. So, at what way are you lowering the threshold for people uh, that want to, to uh, send their package uh, through your uh, initiative? Um, there are a few, a few ways. The most important one, what we get back from every, basically every conversation we have is safety. Uh, it's, it's usually the second or the third question of a customer. How, is, how are you guaranteeing that um, my package is not going to get stolen? And on the other hand, for the driver, it's always his second question. How do you gonna guarantee it that it's not going to be drugs or uh, a bomb or call it like that? Um, so basically what, what we do is to lower it as much as possible from the sender side is that we uh, offer a full risk insurance. So anything what happens is, is our responsibility and we'll take care of it. Uh, that's one thing. And on the other hand, the sender has really limited uh, effort to, to put his package into delivery and he gets a really exact time of delivery, which is not that common in the market. Okay, and, and, <clears throat> and I think uh, when you start building this, uh, I think you got a list of maybe 10,000 requests of things you want to have uh, uh, in the platform. So how do you manage to get the right priorities for yourself in, 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 uh, in what you're going to build? Because I think the ideas, I think it, uh, when we're going to talk now for half an hour, uh, we will come up with maybe uh, one of the ideas. So how do, do you make the right priority for yourself in what to build first? Well, the easy answer is validation. <laughs> uh, it's not always that easy, but um, usually, we are, uh, of course, we have a list of, of 100 things we would love to have. Um, and the other good thing is, is that there are already initiatives that look a lot like us, like BlaBlaCar, that, so we don't have to figure out everything by ourselves, uh, like payment methods and, and stuff like that. Um, but on the other hand, yeah, basically you just check what, what's the easiest way for the customer and what's, what's the, the most convenient one. So, so the, the, it, it's, uh, I think the, the easy answer is uh, focus on what adds the most value for your customer. Yes. And so what's your next steps? Because uh, uh, you're in a, in, in, in a quite busy market. You said you're going to uh, launch in October. So, uh, but, but, but you're already live right now. So what's going to change after October? Um, good question. Well, uh, on one hand, we are talking to some, uh, how do you say, sales platforms that are 
in the second-handed market. So, for instance, uh, for now, we have a really a limited capacity of, of, of uh, a few packages a day. Um, but in October, we have a much more uh, um, capacity to be able to have numbers that are, um, that are challenging for some logistics and transportation companies. So that's, that's one thing. On the other hand, uh, at the moment, we get into um, a partnership with uh, an, a second-handed marketplace. Let's call it like that. There is a lot of uh, demand. And there's stable demand, and that's what we have, what we don't have now at the pilot phase. Okay, so I think that also the biggest challenge is 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 the constantly uh, balance in demand supply. Um, so, how are you going to arrange that? Uh, of course, working together uh, with uh, with big organizations, but how are you going to to make the the the, the constantly focus on the right balance on demand and supply? Oh, I, I would love to have the answer for that question. <laughs> Um, it's the most critical one, I think. It's it, but it, not just for us. I mean, for, for most marketplace um, uh, startups, they, they they wrestle with this. One thing that we do is, is we have a lot of conversations with with fellow startups like like Perbi or Snapcar uh, um, to hope to get the lessons learned that they had a few years ago. Um, I mean, that helps a lot. But still, there is not not a right answer to that question yet for us. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine that. And um, so, you, so you know, uh, uh, trying to find some connection with uh, with uh, platforms or organizations really to to scale up really fast. Uh, what are your biggest challenges in in, in getting the partnerships? Uh, honestly, and that, that's a bit of a cliche, but speed. Um, for one thing, yeah, I, I mean, it's pretty easy having a company with just two or three people. But uh, as soon as companies get bigger, you have a lot of more procedures and, and decision making and it's to make totally sense but um, you see the difference in, in between a startup and, and a growing or existence business is that they just have to take a bit more time to do the research and, and uh, actually uh, set it up yeah but in the end uh, when it when it's set up uh, the, uh, then it will start uh, start working uh, I guess that's, I hope that's the idea yeah <laughs> hopefully and um, what are the existing organizations that you want to work together with? Maybe uh, uh, by, you, by uh, watching this video, uh, uh, people can help you connect. Are there some specific organizations you want to talk to? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we have a wish list. <laughs> it's kind of long, but I, I, I would say just the top three, just to keep it short. Uh, on, on number one, definitely Marplatz. Um, uh, on number two, um, we're going to go for uh, either a competitor of Marplatz, like Spurder or Tweede Hans. Um, and on number three, uh, we're looking into the auction market. So Bayfia auctions, for instance, uh, it's one of the biggest ones. Um, yeah, I think that's a good top three list, wish list. Yeah, but, uh, but I think the wish list is now really on the, on the demand side. Yeah. So, so, so I guess you got quite some confidence that the, that the supply side will just go really easy. Or, or, or are there also some possible partners to think about? Uh, yeah, there are some possible partners. Uh, not sure they're up for it, but uh, of course it's a wish list, so, so who knows. Um, on number one, definitely, just there, there's a top number one is BlaBlaCar. Uh, I mean, these dr the drivers of BlaBlaCar, they, they have experience with delivering uh, people. Um, so for a package, it's, it's just a little step extra and um, uh, almost the same service except for the BlaBla. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, oh, uh, I think we, uh, we can arrange that. And uh, let's say in two years, uh, where do you stand then? Because uh, we now got, uh, got a quite tight schedule of, of, of the launch at, at the end of, 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 of October. Uh, but uh, what are your bigger ambitions? Uh, are you going to stay in the Netherlands or are you going to also open in, in other countries? Yeah, we have, uh, definitely have the ambition of, uh, in, in two years from now, being in, in the Benelux. Uh, we already have some delivery uh, subscriptions in Belgium, so it's, it's going faster than we thought. Uh, and um, uh, I think within two years, so we're talking about like 2017, it's going to be Benelux, but the, the big uh, next step is going to be either Germany or France, because these countries are a lot further with sharing economy, and especially with the, the sharing cars and carpooling. If you look at the size of, of, of the, the French uh, Snapcar, or you look at the size of, of BlaBlaCar in, in France, it's huge. I mean, it's, it's so known that it's so logic to, 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 to use those platforms. And in the Netherlands, we're just, I think, about 
has had some contact with, with the sharing economy. Um, so I think we have a long way to go here in the Netherlands. Yeah, so I think also the threshold for people who like living in France is also why blah blah cars on France is that uh, in, the, in the end you always have to make uh, also for yourself a decision. Okay, what effort do, do you want to take to, to make to 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 deliver the package? Uh, and when you're driving for two hours, then it's easier to say, okay, I'm going to drive for 10 minutes extras. And when you're driving from Leiden to uh, Utrecht, that's uh, about uh, 40 minutes. Then then it's it's it's, it's less interesting to to uh, get some effort, uh, some extra effort to, let's say, uh, deliver the package. Because in the end, uh, what are people are, uh, uh, what people, what are people, uh, uh, how much money are people making by delivering your packages? Uh, it starts at 10 euros. So that's the, the lowest you can get. Um, and then it goes up until uh, how much effort it is. I mean, uh, what you see is that construction worker with vans, they get more paid because uh, usually their delivery uh, stuff is a lot bigger and, and a lot intense to, to actually uh, get it in the truck and out. Yeah, okay, so, so it depends on many factors. So I think I've got about 2,000 questions left, but I think the best thing, way to answer them is to just to start using your, your platform. So I will do uh, start Go for it, yeah. And, and also share my experience about that uh, uh, through my website. So thank you very much for your, for your, for your time. I'm really looking forward to who I'm going to speak next week, I guess. The, 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 the suitcase will travel by using Pick This Up. So I'm really curious uh, who I'm going to talk to uh, next week. And thanks for your, thanks for your You're time. You're welcome. Thank you for your interview.